Hello and welcome to the Race Sports Car Championship here for round four and here for division one. Now this is a very special week because this is America week where we are racing at the Blue Moon Bay Oval and we have loads of fantastic American themed liveries. So let's just get on with the grid here for the first of three sprint races and pole position was surprisingly taken by Scanny Flick who managed to grab himself the perfect slipstream and the perfect line here around the free corner track to grab first on the grid. In second place is Brothers V, with third place being championship leader uh, Paquito. In fourth place is Ross21, and then here we've got the remaining cars that we can see, with fifth place in the foreground being Mr. Mickey Amatko. In sixth place there is Charlie Fraser, with seventh place with the blue car being Trony Snake 96. In 8th place there in the red car is Sammy Oss, and then at the back in ninth is Yes Mate GT. So let's crack on here for the first of the three sprint races, each of them being 20 minutes approximately, each of them being 23 laps. So we're going to see so much bump drafting and slipstream, it's going to be an absolute spectacle. And we are away here as Boogity 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 Scanny Flick starts accelerating here in the Linux sponsored car. And we can see the remaining cars there all flowing through towards turn one in the Mazda Rosa. There is absolutely no tyre wear, it's just 20 minute flat out races. And you can see there they've got to really commit to the curve, turn through the banking. Urbiquito already with a good start. And then we've got Ross in the police car. We've got a Burger King sponsored car there of Charlie Fraser and already there's a gap has formed between 5th and 6th place so maybe not often enough speed taken there from these people in the back of the field and unless they can work together they might find themselves trailing but back up front here and already we've got Herb Keto trying on the inside of Brothers V and he makes the move but it is a long race a lot can happen and it is not too much point in uh, fighting for the lead if you're not there at the end of the race. So as you see them, we can still see that a massive gap has formed and at the back of this we've got Madco and then in 6th we've got Sammy and Snake and Charlie Fraser all fighting into turn 1 and as they continue to fight, that gap there to Madco is just going to increase. So this is not what Sammy Austin, Charlie, uh, Snake and Yesmate would want to be doing but there you can see some fantastic American themed liveries. But this pack is starting to trail back up up front and Scanny Flick still leading after his fantastic pole position. And if these five cars can work together then they will stay as this five car train for the rest of the race. But uh, Peter on the inside, that's going to hold up Scanny Flick. But it's maybe Brothers V will now go for the push onto the back of the Linux sponsored car. Meanwhile Ross and Matko will now be wanting to uh, work together. And you can see side by side racing double file at the back. Ross on the inside of Matco and Brad has taken the high line and uh, Scanny there on the inside into turn one after getting a bit of slip through from Mercito and um, Brad is it after getting a fantastic run through turn one and on the outside is that he now leapfrogged into second place and now bump drafting Scanny Flick. Uh, Pito looking for the inside and does make it as Bradley Speed gets left out to dry on the outside and he's going to drop back and maybe have to work with the Hungarian driver. Ross therefore on the inside, oh, but he has to actually slow down slightly. It is a full throttle corner when you're on your own, but when you're on the inside you may have to be a bit more careful. Quickly just look at 6th, 7th, 8th and 9th, they are still battling and that gap has increased now to about 3 and a half seconds. But as we go free wide into the opening turn, and Skenny on the high side, and we'll hold the lead for now. Uh, Piquito almost into the wall, but not as close to the wall as Brothers V there in fifth place. And I think the driver who might be left out to dry here is Ross, who, as you can see, was stuck on the inside, was unable to fall back in line and drop to fifth. And if he isn't too careful, he might actually drop down to the second pack. Let's just go on board. And just what ahead. So Matko was on the inside there of Scanny Flick. Matko making the move into the lead. Great stuff there from Hungarian. And due to them fighting, that will allow Ross to catch up and keep this a five car battle.
Uh, yes, mate, therefore, is now on the inside, but it's a free car trade on the outside, so he drops down to the back of that four car pack as they go in towards turn one. They are starting to work together well, though, so if they can keep that up, they can definitely catch the top, especially as they are battling heavily into turn one, but there is contact between Charlie and yes, mate. Charlie not going to be pleased. Up front, Matko's now fallen out of line there after being overtaken at turn one by Paquito. This race is all about being in the right place at the right time in another 18 laps. Do you want to be leading onto the start of the final lap, or do you want to maybe be second or third and aim to overtake before the final uh, lap? Before the uh, start finish line, apologies. So, yeah, Ross now back onto that pack. Brad is actually bumping uh, Pequito, we can see, and Matko pushing them, so that's good teamwork from those three. Skenny is now on the outside, though, after working with Ross 21. Brad has been taking a bit of a high side, but that will give him good acceleration. But Matko, therefore, on the inside, and Matko will be left out to dry here, it seems, as he actually falls now after work with Ross 21. Uh, further back, these four car track, uh, they are trying to work quite well, and if we just compare their lap times, we've got low 53s, um, but these low 53s are still slower than the lap times of the top five. So, yeah, these four really need to uh, pick up the pace. Part of that pace is going to come from just working together in terms of bump drafting, and part of that is actually going to be from turn one, because that is where all the time is lost. In turn one, you tank cake it quite quickly. Meanwhile, turn two and turn three are meant to be flat out corners. But as we go to the lead, we've got Bradders V on the inside being pushed by Scanny Flick. Meanwhile, on the outside, it's Erpikito and Mako and Ross there in fifth place. Oh, and that's a great run on the high side from Erpikito, who will surely take the lead. Will he now slot in ahead of Bradders V? Yes, he does, thanks to the work from Mako. So, those two working well working very very well in these early stages and Scanny Flick will surely drop down to fifth as he finds himself alone on the inside. Just further back we've got Sammy still leading this pack here of four cars and as long as they work together they might be able to catch up in another 10 or so laps it's currently 53-0 but that is still not good enough compared to this top five. This top five have really got it down well and even though they do battle, they do often find themselves still bump drafting while battling. Uh, Matko, therefore, at the, yeah, as you can see, bump drafting Erpikito, the championship leader. Scanny on the oh, inside, that's only going to hold him up. Oh, and Erpikito in the wall, that might be helpful for the second pack, but you can see them fighting in the background. It's actually, yes, mate, right on the inside. Meanwhile, Matko taking the lead after Erpikito's mistake. And Bradazi follows him through and will surely now work with the Hungarian. Or a little bit of contact, maybe. And Atli Bradersby now on the high side. I don't know if there was contact, but Avakito slotting back and will surely slot back with Matko. And uh, nope, Matko's down the outside. And Bradersby gives him a nice little push. Ross is, though, for actually going to work with Avakito to make this double file. Yes, mate, on his own there in ninth and will surely have to slot in before turn one. Oh, so Matko was working with Brothers V, but Brothers V got a better run through turn one and has actually now started to work with Erbikito, which means that Matko will be left to slot in for third, but these three are still working together. Fourth and fifth actually lost a bit of time on that lap. And uh, yeah, that's actually a solid eight tenths there that uh, the top three have created from some good teamwork there on the previous lap. Now, if they keep this up, then these three are going to be left to dust. They're still working well together as uh, Bradley right on the back of their Pito as they enter the main straight. But I think Ross might just keep it. Oh, we've got, uh, I think this was a Charlie or Snake in the wall. Let's just look towards this scrap as they go across the checkers. And Snake is in sixth now. But the lap times aren't going to be good enough to make an overtake. So they're just going to battle amongst themselves. And we've got Sammy in the wall here off backwards at turn one. Let's catch a replay. We've had the big one here at Blue Moon Bay. And oh no, it was Yes Mate who made contact with Snake. 
So let's just catch a replay here, looking at Yes Mate GT in the yellow and green car. So he went to the inside just before the breaking point. He follows Charlie Fraser through, hits Charlie, sorry, and that has sent Sammy off as well. But Charlie has now slid right across the track and will now have to work with Yes Mate. Snake is now on his own in sixth, but as long as these two can now continue to work together for a flat to their contact to turn one, they will catch up back to sixth. But Sammy, that's his race done and dusted, and he might have to retire. Back up front, and yet we can see that this is now still a five car scrap because Ross and Scanny have started to catch back up. So good teamwork from Ross and Scanny. And the fastest lap of the race actually there from Ross with a 32.3 but it was bettered by Scanny Flick with a 52.0 who was obviously in the Irish driver's slipstream. So some drivers going through turn one in fifth gear, obviously using fourth gear. Um, it really depends on just how much speed you can take. If you can take a lot of speed for it then fifth gear is better. If you're maybe struggling a bit fourth gear will give you a little bit more kick. Also, if you're fighting and you're stuck on the inside or um, have to take a tighter exit, then fourth gear is probably your best bet. Um, Brothers V may be looking for a move on the inside. No, he's still safe with her own uh, Paquito, so he's playing a long game, but oh, he's fallen out of line. Just as I said that, Matko now pushing her Paquito, and Ross will surely push. Brothers V will go on board here with Ross. We can see the American we America Week themed liveries around us. And Scanny Flick falling into line behind the top two. But Bradley on the inside is now going to just about get ahead of Scanny Flick. And Scanny Flick stuck on the inside on his own. He will slot into fifth as Ross and Bradley's V work together. Oh, actually, you know, Willie? Oh, just about. Oh, that was so close there. There's contact. But yeah, Bradley's V just having a few centimetres enough to get the overlap. But Scanny actually slotting in between third and fifth place. Just further back and we see Snake still on his own, but the lap times have dropped by about two seconds um, there now that he's on his own. Charlie and Yes Mate have therefore caught straight back up again. So we've now got a three car scrap for sixth. Although if these two can work together fantastically now, they might actually be able to just straight up pull away. So uh, big bump, so actually no, these three are still together, so. They haven't decided to just try and instantly overtake Snake. Ooh, almost contact there. Yes, mate, moving into seven. Back up front, and Urbaquito and Matko still fighting it out, but they are most importantly working together. And they've been working together for about five laps now. This is just an oval race, so yeah, a lot more is about your strategy and your teamwork. It's, it's closer to the Tour de France than it is some of the other rounds we have had. Much closer to Tour de France than the race around Braden's Hatch Grand Prix. And oh, oh, Mako has been, well, I think Brothers and Mako there trying to make a little breakaway, going to the inside. Paquito tried to defend it, almost defended too much. But uh, Mako moving into the lead, but I think that might leave Brothers V out to dry. Oh, it would have, and no, he has. And Scanny Flick has actually gone even further to the inside rather than any sort of bump drafting. So Brothers V having to fall into the pack behind Earth Keto. It did look though that Brothers and Matko wanted to get by, but only one of them succeeded. And then on the exit, Brothers V didn't have the momentum and didn't get any further help. But that's the risk about overtaking at turn one. If you can't get enough momentum through turn one, you're gonna fall out of line and not make the progress and he potentially drop down to the back of the field. As we just look further back, this free car scrap is now changing positions as Yes Mate got into sick for Head of Snake. And we can see that Samuel still on his own in ninth. He will pick up two points, however, if he finishes the race. And who is out of line now? It's Scanny out of line. And actually, Herb Keto is out of line as well. Let's just catch a replay. So Bradders V's gone to the outside. Herb Keto was stuck on the inside, and yeah, Bradley Vegas drove excellently there around the outside to keep the high line, but does he have enough slipstream from the Hungarian in the lead? 
they're both fighting for it because if we go on board here we can see that he is really trying to get half of that slipstream but Perez just about pulls ahead and now Pito has gone from first to third in a couple of laps and now we can see Bredesby just lifting up before the tap with Matco. And if we just go a little bit further back, we can see Ross on the high line with Scanny on the inside. So, But that will now allow Scanny to get a fantastic run through the inside. And oh, that's terrible teamwork from Bradders and Matco. Bradders actually side by side with Matco, not where he wants to be because we're going to now see Urbkito mm, try and bump Matco. Bradersby stuck on the inside. Scanny leapfrogging all the way into second place. But he's stuck on the inside, he slows down heavily, he goes all the way down to 110 miles per hour, and he is now on that low side as Erpito sweeps past and Bradley and Ross, and there again is the risk of going for it in turn one if you cannot keep the momentum up. So as soon as that line goes past, Gany Flick slots into place, and he does have the slipstream quick enough, so yeah, he should stay within the pack. Currently, it might look like Matko is the favourite. He's had some fantastic teamwork. He was working very well with uh, Paquito, and now Paquito is working very well with him. Meanwhile, Bradders is now just looking on the inside of Paquito. I don't think that's a good move because he doesn't have anyone to work with him and actually has to slot back into place because Paquito has now tried to overtake Matko on the inside and makes it stick. Bradders on the outside, Ross on the low side. That's an excellent run on the hide side there for Paquito to take the lead. And Bradders even quicker, but there's no room there to get past Paquito, but he slots perfectly in that little gap there for second. Oh, actually, no, Scanny Flick getting a fantastic run with a little bit of slip dream, I think, from Ross. And we've now gone almost four wide with Scanny, Ross, Mako, and Bradders here on the outside. Meanwhile, on the inside, Paquito is now being forced to the outside, and Scanny Flick goes into the lead from 5th to 1st in, I think, a lap, as Paquito jolts to the inside very, very quickly, but, oh, Matko maybe getting the slipstream along with Scanny Flick, but no, he's stuck on the outside. Brad V now pushing Scanny Flick, the side by car contact into turn 1. And Scanny Flick still holds, all oh, the big contact with Paquito, Scanny into the wall, and that definite contact with Paquito. Let's just catch further back because if we go to 8th, we see that Snake has really dropped off in the last lap. Oh, there's been a big incident. Let's go on board with Snake. Oh no, it's happened earlier on in the corner. Uh, let's actually go with... Mm, no, let's go with an outfall shot. So yesmo has gone to the inside and Snake has hit Charlie. And then there's been contact there in the middle of the track between Yesme and Snake. But what's happened at the exit? Uh, oh, ooh, that is weird, let's, um, I'm going to go on board here with Snake, because the incident in turn 1 wasn't too much, but then here, oh, okay, uh, let's go aboard with Charlie Fraser, because this is a big incident that needs to be reviewed, um, Well, uh, there was side-by-car side contact and Snake has seemingly heavily turned towards the rear right corner of Yesmate yes, GT and has just sent himself down to 8th, so he only has himself to blame there. The side-by-side -side contact to turn 1 wasn't really too much of an issue, but then that may be something the shoers need to look at. Anyway, going back towards our battle for the lead, and after the contact there between Scanny and Paquito at turn one, Scanny therefore dropped from first to fifth, so terrible for him. He had made fantastic progress on lap 17. Ross is actually now going to fall back to fifth as he's out of line, and Paquito and Matko not working too well together, and Brothers V is therefore going to slot into the back. Oh no, Matko now just about going to the high side along with Paquito. Brad is stuck on the inside. And scanning, therefore, will surely work with Brothers V. Mm. Oh, there's a little bit of a choice to be made here, and no, Brothers V having to slot in behind Paquito. Scanning will therefore slot in line as well, surely. Paquito actually got a really good slipstream, and he's now going for the move on Matco. He really wants to take initiative here and be leading from the front for the remaining five laps. And Brothers V on the inside of Matco as well, is that a wise move? 
Oh, well, it might just work out because I think Mako hit the wall. Scanny will therefore move into fourth as well. Sorry, into third because Mako's mistake. Just a quick jolt further back, and Charlie Fraser and Yes Mate are still fighting for sixth and seventh, so I don't think that's going to change too much. It's going to be one of them in sixth, one of them in seventh. Snake on his own in eighth, and Sammy on his own. Devi, unfortunately, in ninth. But back up front, and Paquito and Bradersby are right side by side. You cannot get any closer than that, as well, I don't even know who was leading. I think it was Bradersby across the line with four laps to go, and we've got perfect. A line of two and a line of three as they go through turn one and a massive gap forms between them. Bradersby wants to slot into place and oh he tries to cover off Paquito and I think it has worked and Scanny Flicker just cost himself and he falls down to fifth there. Oh Paquito getting the slip dream and is now working fantastically there with the Hungarian driver and Matko and Bradersby forced to drop to third place if he can slot in line before Ross approaches. Yes he can. So the main leaders in this race have been Matko and Paquito. They've been working pretty well throughout. Bradersby has been able to get in the lead occasionally, but not been able to hold there. Meanwhile, Ross and Scanny again, sometimes they're now to get up front, but they seem to drop down occasionally. Ross will slot into place just before turn one, all breaking just after the 100 meter board. And it's still Marco and Paquito fighting and working together on the exit of the corner. Let's get on board here from fourth place, Ganny Flick. He was on pole position after the interesting qualifying session where it was all about getting that perfect slip stream and trying to work with people or work against each other. And this is all that the race is about. And oh, he's going to the inside. He thinks he has a good run. But while the others stay in the slip stream and bum draft, this might be a problem for Ganny Flick. We can just see Bradersby on the outside, Matko also on the high side. And as we go through the corner, you can see the better run that. Bradersby gets on the outside along with the slipstream that is he has from Matko, so maybe not the best strategy move from Scanny. Ross will surely want to bump him straight away. And Paquito gone high, Bradsby on the inside working with Scanny Flick and Ross and Mako's made contact with Scanny, that drops that line, it was a line forming, it's now turned into oh and Mako's actually the one who's lost out there he's dropped down to fifth with that contact with Scanny, Scanny and Ross three wide it's almost four wide as we go into turn one and Scanny right on the inside ahead of Ross, Paquito on the outside as we go on to the final lap and Bradsby in third and Ross and Scanny are out of line, Matko out of line, making contact with the back of Scanny and we fight and we've got Bradders on the inside going into turn two, going into turn two, making the move and we just got one corner to go, Paquito on the inside, are the other three going to get involved in this battle? Bradersby hasn't led for long but just got a fantastic run out of turn one there. He's on the inside, a slight contact between the two with Bradersby in the middle, Paquito on the outside, Paquito will get the better run out of the corner, he goes high and Bradersby goes as low as he can and we will get to the line, who's it going to be, is it going to be Paquito, Bradersby and we are across the line and it's Bradersby who crosses the line, let's catch a replay of some of that on that final lap, so after the contact to turn one it was just left to the top two here to battle it out for the win and just right to the apron he was pushed. Paquito wanted to get the run out of the final turn, so he stayed high. Let's just see what happened here at the final turn. So you can see the slight contact, but Paquito still on the high side, getting the better acceleration. He's got a few more miles per hour, but then he, Bradis V, went to the inside as much as possible. And as they crossed the line, it was Bradis V, Paquito, Scanny Flick, Ross, and Matko, your top five here at Blue Moon Bay Speedway. For this first sprint race, fantastic racing there. Matko might feel a little bit aggrieved at being 
being fifth after being first and second for so long. In sixth place is Yes Mate there working with Charlie Fraser. In eighth place is Snake who had that incident with Yes Mate and in ninth place is Samios. We hope you've enjoyed this race. There are more races to come.